Hello friends, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. I'm back with a new video on Microsoft SharePoint. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to collect the data using SharePoint list. In this video, you will get to learn to collect the data from different team members using just a simple link that you've created in SharePoint list. You will send that link to all the team members and the data will automatically get captured and be downloaded in an Excel file. Here, you can simply restrict the access whether should the team members be able to see others' data, what others are entering or not. You can also put a restriction in such a way that they will be able to see others' data, but they will not be able to make any changes to the data that doesn't belong to them. So friends, let's go ahead and dive into SharePoint and see how can this be done. So friends, now I'm looking at my SharePoint website. This is nothing but a team site. I go here and click on new. After clicking on new, I click on new list. So I'm creating a new list, which is sales register. And I click create. Now, since I'm creating the sales register, I click here and add some columns like name of sales salesman, salesman. And as you see that this list is ready, I can simply go ahead and click on quick edit to enter the data. So let's say Mr. Pradeep. When I'm done, I'll just click on exit quick edit. Now let's see how the other team members will look at this data. So I'm switching over to another account and this account belongs to Harshita. Now here, I would like to see the sales register that I've created, which is here on my left pane. I click on that sales register and I come under this list and she can see that I have entered this data. She can also enter the data of hers. So I've added these two things. Now what I want here, Harshita should not be able to see others data. In order to do that, I'll have to come back to my screen and I click on this icon and will select the option that says list settings. In list settings, I'll have to go to advanced settings. And here, do you see this option that says read access? I select read items that were created by the user. Now, when I select this option and I'll go down, I click OK and I come back to my list. I go to sales register and here I don't see any change that is happening because I am the team owner. Let's go to Harshita's screen. I refresh the screen and now see she does not see others data, but she can see only her data. Let's try one more thing. I add one more record quick edit. Now let's go to Harshita's screen and when she refreshes the screen, she again cannot see a new record. Yeah. Now, if she makes any changes, I'll be able to see those changes. Let's try that as well. Let me switch over to my account. I can see her data. But let's say I want Harshita to be able to see what I'm entering but she should not be able to make any changes to that. Yeah. So I'll again go to the settings icon, go to list settings and go to advanced settings. Here I'll select that Harshita should be able to see all items, but she should only be able to create and edit items that are created by the user. User means which are created by her. So I have toggled this to read all items and selected this option to create items and edit items that were created by the user. After doing this change, I come back to OK. And when I come, when I'm back at that list, that is sales register. Now Harshita can see what I have entered, but she cannot change. Let's say I try to edit this record. So I go to click quick edit and change this 30,000 to let's say 
3000. And now I'm clicking exit quick edit and see it says just a second you need to fix some problem. So uh, even if I click on go ahead and fix them, it doesn't work. Yeah. But let's say I would like to change a record that is created by Harshita itself. So I'm making this 50,000 to just 5,000 and I click on quick edit. Now see, so she's able to edit her own records, but she's not able to edit any records that are created by me. So one last thing uh, before I uh, wrap up this video, let me tell you that this is the unique link that can be shared with every team member and they will be able to use this link to enter their data. But you need to ensure that this link should only be sent to the people who are the members of this team site. Once that is done, you can simply click on export to Excel and export the entire data into uh, the Excel file. So friends, I believe that this is going to be a, a game changer in collecting the data from different team members who belong to the same team. And you don't now need to send a, a template with an Excel file for them to fill up the data every now and then. So thank you very much, friends. I hope you've learned something new. Please do share this video with your peers, friends and colleagues and do write, comment and share the video. Thank you.